Hello, hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Live here, Jan Rogerud. I am the founder and creative director at chaosmap.com, as you existing subscribers already know. For you new folks, hey, welcome, and welcome to you all existing listeners and uh, viewers, because we are live on Facebook. You might be seeing us out on YouTube. You are certainly uh, experiencing, if you're driving in the car right now, the iTunes Media and Marketing Podcast, which I totally love you all for coming in at these various platforms, whatever suits you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to spy a little bit on these websites, and particularly Dr. Weil here today. But before I do, remember to go uh, to chaosmap.com. We can set up a 15-minute appointment there for you to answer any questions you might have or you know, give you some strategies and direction. That's always good, right? Okay, so without further ado, let's dig in. So what we're looking at is drweil.com, W-E-I-L.com, a noted uh, guru slash expert slash, uh, uh, you know, dominant figure in the health and wellness field. And um, there are several of uh, these authorities out there in the space, but uh, Dr. Weil has been around for a long time and he has a lot of great information, which of course is product centric, but some of it, and a lot of it is actually informational. And one of the things that you know is to build trust and authority online. One of the best things you can do is to create content that serves your audience and serves it with the right content, meaning the right topical elements for um, your market, right? And uh, as you'll see here, we're going to use SEMrush again today. We're just on a roll here. Uh, and we're going to find out what are the steps to actually reveal the top uh, listed items for his blog in this case, Dr. Weil here. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to spy on him and we're going to spy on this website and it's all there for the taking. And, you know, I'm showing you this with semrush.com, but us here in the SEO world, we know that you can do a lot of this research by using uh, essentially operators from Google. But, you know, a lot of that can get kind of intricate. And so, um, you know, if you want to get a free uh, subscription to SEMrush, you can do that, but that's not what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to give you some good information that you can use, and that gives you some insights on how some of these things can work for you, right? Okay, so let's dig in here. So what uh, the first step here, uh, once again, we're looking at a lot of data here, so don't worry about all of this. I'm going to get to kind of the core here in just a second. The first thing you do is you go to organic research, which would be here on your left, and once you get that, you get an input box uh, and you can basically type in the domain, just like you see here. Once you hit search on that, you're going to get back uh, these results as you see them here. Actually, it goes into the overview tab first. You have to select the positions tab. So uh, once you do, you have the opportunity to select, you know, the, the top, uh, uh, top 10. Uh, you can do a range. Uh, in this case, we're just picking top 20 here, which makes a lot of sense because, frankly, that's going to get you the first and second page, gives you a nice uh, uh, breakdown and also um, uh, expansion into these uh, keywords and these phrases. And uh, here's really the kicker on this. Uh, what we want to do is we want to include URLs. So from the entire site, uh, what is it that is containing the word blog? Right? Pretty cool. <clears throat> now. You would have done a little bit of research here and realized that maybe uh, somebody else could use a subdirectory called blogging or blogs. Uh, you know, we're just saying blog here because that's basically a wild card to say anything with blog in the URL will take a look, right? Um, and if you look below here, um, lo, and, lo and behold, <laughs> on the right hand side, the URL here, notice that it has all these blog entries here. It just keeps going and going and going. And sure enough, this is all blog related stuff. Well, guess what? Uh, that is. That is educational, informational, <clears throat> authoritative content uh, to try and educate you, inform you, right? And of course, what uh, it also does is it allows you to look at keywords here. And that's what we're seeing on the left here. <clears throat> what are the keywords that uh, this uh, uh, website is ranking for using informational content? Well, this is big, not only because there's traffic here, which we can see some of that volume here, but this is typically very highly uh, crafted posts that are evergreen, meaning they go on and on and on and on in time, right? So you don't have to come back and revisit other than perhaps creating some inline links or product lifts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but essentially, this is what people gravitate towards when they first get introduced to a product or to a service. 
uh, because the informational content is such positioned that it is a top of funnel type of uh, uh, you know traffic. Now, when I say that, it also captures really the full spectrum, right? So it's not just cold traffic from top. Like imagine if somebody uh, types in here, let's see, uh, spiritual benefits of walking, right? Well, that's a, what we call a long tail phrase. That's at position seven here. And by the way, these change, right? Not exact. So the, at the time of scan, this is what it was for SEMrush. And here you can see that this is inside the blog, spontane happen, uh, spontaneous happiness, six reason walking is good for the body, mind, and spirit. Notice how the URL <clears throat> actually matches the keyword here. Well, that's good optimization, right? So that's a little different than I didn't want to get into all of that detail here today, but I guess I just mentioned it. So, hey, capture that tip, right? But <clears throat> here we have a chance now to elevate the knowledge about spiritual benefits of walking, which is what you want. Now, what happens is in the workflow is if somebody doesn't know about your brand and they happen to type that in and get to you and read the content, you're basically nurturing that relationship. This is building the know, like, and trust, which uh, I uh, should probably capture this know, like, and trust phrase for all of the blog posts that I've done, or sorry, podcasts that I've done, uh, because I talk about it so much. Know, like, and trust. Well, that's what we're doing here. And also it's uh, lifting the brand, right? So you're getting traffic in. Again, not too much here. We're only seeing about 20 searches. So it's really just you know barely anything. But all of these as an aggregate, right? They add value not only to the search volume, to the traffic, to your site, but it captures really the essence of education, authority building, trust building, and authoritative content is huge. And it's of expert nature, right? And that is what we call the EAT model in the Google, expert, expertness, how, how expert is the quality of that content, how authoritative, that's the E, right? Uh, sort of the A, how authoritative is it? And T, eat, trusted. How trusted is that content? Well, what a great way to do this by looking at somebody else's uh, blog, their content, their keywords, their search volume, huge exposure for the top 20 here, as you can see, to learn about this so that you can model this for yourself, use this analysis, create your own evergreen content to support your audience. And this is actually modeling, not copying, right? Because if you copy, you're basically not being smart because now you're, first of all, you're gonna be challenging this site, which is highly authoritative and trusted in Google's eyes, but you're actually creating duplicate content, which by the way, good luck, right? Not gonna happen. Plus you'll be seen as a bit of an idiot, right? In the marketplace. Thanks very little for stealing my uh, my content. And by the way, there are uh, you know rules and governance around that as well. And you could receive, uh, receive a cease and desist letter, which, um, we have uh, dealt with in the past, not for ourselves, but uh, for our clients. And as I said before, we deal with uh, uh, these issues in organic and also paid search uh, and creative work uh, for um, our agency, which is chaosmap.com, C-H-A-O-S-M-A-P.com. And if you go to that for slash talk, uh, there's a 15 minute uh, free call for you, happy to jump on. But really what I wanted to do here today is just show you the power of you know, snooping down, uh, if that's a word. I just made it up, spying spying and drilling down to uh, an existing authoritative site's content by segmenting it, in this case, by a filter to the blog and then watching those. So the next thing here that uh, we would do is just simply export this, right? So there's an export <clears throat> facility here. You can PDF it uh, and export it. Export is more for the tactical. A PDF would be kind of a... If you were doing an introductory call, you could uh, show this competitor to your client and a nice PDF and summarize it with a PowerPoint presentation or just a walkthrough right there on Zoom or go to webinar. Very powerful, by the way, for you all consultants out there. So um, again, lots of keywords, lots of opportunities here. This is also a way for you to see are there ways that you can merge some of this content if you're creating this for yourself to capture more than one keyword on the page, right? That's a bigger discussion that we're gonna cover here today, like how many keywords to a page versus breaking it out to individual pages. But here you're getting a total nice workflow uh, by just entering the domain, setting up a filter, going to the top 20 positions and start cruising through here. And of course, clicking on these and seeing what it looks like and uh, what opportunities that could create for you. 
So, hey, uh, really appreciate you coming in here today. We're just seeing some fantastic activity out on iTunes as well. Love the subscriptions and the reviews. Keep them coming. If you want to do it right now, hey, hit that subscribe button. How about that? <laughs> that is the instant activity you can do on your mobile phone right there. Anyway, uh, love doing these for you. And hey, we're going to come back with more goodies here. We're really diving in to a lot of sort of under the hood uh, uh, research that uh, will give you a lot of value here. Uh, we know and I hope uh, that uh, you feel the same. All right. Well, hey, thanks for this right now and have a great day and week. Later. Bye.